Yu-Gi-Oh! is one of the most difficult trading card games to get into, unless you know where to begin. Starting from absolutely nothing and a budget of £40 per week, we set out on a fresh journey to climb our way to the top tables of competitive play. To make the journey even harder, there's going to be a series of obstacles in our way. Not only are we restricted to sealed official product, but certain items like Structure Decks and Dual Devastator are off-limits and locked behind a number of challenges. Join us as we prove ourselves to be a true duelist and turn this into a competitive monster. You're watching Yu-Gi-Oh! From Scratch, Challenge Mode. Oi oi, welcome to the 25th installment of Melfi Fluffballs kicking ass. Last week things got a little exotic. We hablowed the Italiano and managed to get a bunch of damaged Italian Duelist Saga boxes for cheap. That's just one of the many issues we've had to overcome in this series, but we pulled a Gatto da Sacorso and scored yet another flawless episode. Today things are going to start getting even more interesting. This is our last Locals before the ban list comes into effect. Obviously the video comes out after the ban list goes into effect, but the Locals was filmed beforehand, so I don't want to see any comments like, oh yeah, Dryden is banned, why are you still playing Dryden, dumbass idiot? We're gonna need to think about the new format very soon, and the Remote Duel YCS got announced too, which I definitely think is a challenge that it's maybe a little bit too early for us, but I definitely want to see how we would do in like a big event like that. So YCS VIP qualifier events are happening over the next couple of weeks, and if we can get first place in one of those, we get a nice head start in the main YCS event. Hall order, considering we're yet to even talk locals but just with a stroke of luck it's possible okay so that's what we're going to be playing in for now then we have the generational duel and the binder at the end too lots of juice lots of juice and uh considering this is a 25th episode means we finally hit that 1000 pound threshold my bank account literally cries itself to sleep every night but thankfully it's possible due to our patrons and channel members like hana no umi g12d and tris5 who have all just recently made a contribution thanks to people like you our melfies are living their best life so thank you so much and if you watching also want to make a contribution through patreon or youtube channel memberships links are under the video somewhere Go find them. Now, today we don't have any change from last week, so our budget is, of course, the clean £40 as per usual, and the number of cards we need is getting lower and lower. We're really close to completing the deck, but we need to get our priorities straight. We need to try and go for the right cards in the right order for the YCS to give us the best potential chance of doing well. So I've gone for a little bit of variety today. We'll get into that in a second, but first, you know what to do. You want to give us good pools, you're going to need to give us some luck points. Tickle that button. This mat is so gross now, dude. Look at that stain. Ugh, I've spilled so much stuff on this mat, it's not even funny anymore. So today we had £40 exactly to spend, and we actually have some change. I'm not going to say anything. If you know, <laughs> you know. So we have spent £38.50 in total. Uh, and we've got to the point where I'm not 100% sure what the optimal product is to open right now. So I just got a variety. So here we have one box of Dual Overload for £20. Uh, ideally, we want to get Almirage out of this because if we pull Almirage, that takes two bricks out of our deck, essentially. And then, of course, we have, just because they're so cheap, two Saga Dai Duelanti. Italian damaged dual saga boxes, hoping to get another rescue cat. Ideally, we do want to have a play set, but if we're playing 40 cards, I think two is probably like the optimal ratio. Otherwise, we just clog up on the amount of beast shit we have. And then for £2.50, we have one pack of Phantom Rage. I wasn't sure whether I should go for Phantom Rage or Toon Chaos. Toon Chaos is getting super expensive again, but for now, we're going for one Phantom Rage Fractal. Uh, another Alpha could go on the side, I guess, or Zeus is what we really want. If we pull Zeus out of one pack, holy fuck, dude. <laughs> After last week as well, it's so rigged. It's so rigged. So, uh, yeah, I guess there's a bunch of things we can pull. So let's just, let's just dive on in, shall we? Oh, shit, the steel's already been broken. Was that me? I don't know. Oh, God, it's been weighed. We've been scammed. Oh shit, oh yeah, I forgot we get the big cards. The Tour Guide Blue Eyes deck, let's go. We have the Dark Magicians. Hell yeah, we can go color that in or some shit with our crayons. <laughs> All right, so six packs. 
of Dual Overload. Amaraj is not one of the harder cards to get, so it should be relatively easy. I mean, it, if we pull like Needle Fiber or Anaconda, that's gonna be like, it's gonna be great, isn't it? It's just, it's just binder fodder at that point, but uh, it's always nice to go plus, I suppose. And then we of course have our Duelist Saga in here as well. Six Duelist Saga, six Dual Overload, and one Phantom Rage. Where do we begin? Where do we begin? We are yet to pull the Dark Magician in Duelist Saga. So we'll go with that. We'll go with that. Why not? All right. What do we have here? Bestia Evo Cosiania Oscura. Is this, um, I believe this is that fucking, this is sacred beast stuff, I think. Uh, Brucia Torre Paracudititista. <laughs> Lancier Ragio Nero Armatura Completa. Raviel, il signor dei fantasmi. Yo, we got sacred beast, damn dude, hell yeah. And grandioso talpa neospaziala. That's pretty hype though. That's a pretty good pool, is it not? I'm pretty sure. God, they're so warped. All right, dual overloads. Give me an Almirage. We also need Omega, but Omega is not like important right now because we have the. <gasps> oh. Wait, I totally forgot that was in here. Oh, uh, he says as there's a fucking pack heart there. Damn, Phantasma, that's a sick pool. Hell yeah. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, Omega's not really important because we have the Draco Berserker, but I mean, we do need to pull it. So we'll see how that goes. Phantasma is super good. That's really nice. Uh, Synchro Transcend, we got Wise Strix, Digusto Emerald and Malefic Selector. Bow Selector. Damn, dude, what a pool. <laughs> that's so good. Uh, all right, I guess we can just go back and forth for the Duelist Saga and the Duel Overload. What do we have? We have Evocara in Catina, Velo Bianco, Muro di Potier, Dente di Leone, and are you serious? <laughs> Two in a row? How did that happen? Where is our rescue cat, man? We always get doubles of things that aren't what we want. It's kind of unfortunate. All right. Oh, we can also get Imperm in here, can we not? I think, it's been a while since I've opened Dual Overload. Rose Bell of Revelation. We got Double Evil Pill, really nice. Cubic Dharma, Enema's Judgment, and Reptilian Echidna to go with our Ogdoidic stuff, which isn't gonna happen because we're not opening Ancient Guardians ever. Hell yeah. All right, we got a Speedair on the front there and Cats like to chase and sometimes eat speed elves. So you know what that means. Haha, -ha, rescue cat in here. Rikiamo Synchro. Numero 28. Falena Titanica. Yo, let's go. Pescatrice Silenziosa, Zombie Untore, and yep, Propulsore Demon Eterno. God damn. We're just not gonna get the rescue cat. I can't even remember what it was called in Italian. Union Carrier. Oh yeah, shit, it's banned. <laughs> In season one, when we were pulling this, it was a good pull. Not anymore, though, sadly. Zombie World, yay! There we go, we got the Almirage. I kind of expected us to pull an Almirage because it's so easy to pull. Ojama oh, Emperor and Paradox Gear. So uh, I'm happy regardless of where the rest of this opening goes. Let's be real. All right, give us a cat. We got Crystal Zero, Necroid Synchro, Eredita di un Iro, Alanera Gale, the Black Wing, and wait, oh yeah, there's only <laughs> there's only five cards in the pack. What what do I mean? Uno, dos, duo. Uh, all right, condemned Dark Lord. We got Starfire. There we go, dude. We got the Omega as well. We only needed one dual overload to pull everything we need. Hell yeah, terraforming and firebrand hymnist. So with the Omega, we essentially get two hand rips which is decent because Draco Berserker can kind of easily be played around. It's not the best. And it's 2,800. All right, Duelist Saga. We don't really care about Duel Overload anymore. We got another Crystal Zero. How many of these do we have? My God. We got another Vion Iro Vision. Eredita di un Iro. Rotami Synchron and Mizuki. Dude, did we not get a play set last time? Ah. <sighs> I think we are going to be opening more Duel Saga. Witchcraft of Creation, Magic Formula, Speedroid, Hexa Saucer, Dynamiscus isn't bad, to be honest. We had do we did have a lot of Paleozoic stuff in the early episodes, so that's kinda cool. And we got an Angry Umbrella. An Angi Umbrella. Um alright, let's open up this dual overload. Because we don't really care what's in here. 
The best card is at the front usually, so we'll pop that to the back. We have a Giga Plant, Destiny Hero Celestial, Starfire, Chaos Goddess. <laughs> we take those, dude. Almost got the playset of Phantasme out of one box. Damn. All right, Phantasme, that's so good, dude. That is so good to get. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right, this opening's sick, to be honest. Really good in this format. Let's see, we have Dopia Stella Celestiale, Paradiso Perduto, Scudo Ala Laguerra. Are we gonna get Rescue Cat? Oh, Red MT! Yo, we've built Dragon Link, let's go. Drago Metallico Oscuro Oki Rossi. And, ugh, damn it, dude. Armitile, the Chaos Phantasm. Damn, dude. We got some nice pools in there. Red MD to go alongside our blue eyes and shit. Kind of cool, kind of cool. But uh, we didn't get the rescue cat, sadly. All right. Phantom Rage. I guess we'll go one, two, three, four to the front. What do we have? Dual Avatar Compact. Can we have a repeat of the last episode where we just pull a mad secret rare out of fucking... <laughs> <laughs> the smallest amount of packs. UA, Man of the Match. You got Tri Brigade Oath. Mahama, the Fairy Dragon, basically just the gores summon it to the field when you can take damage, I believe. Infernic Conjurer, Awakening of the Possessed, Magical Broker. Is that a secret? Oh, wait, no. Tri Brigade Nerval. And is that a secret? I don't know. It is Gizmek Mikami, the Ferocious Fanged Fortress. Did this not get like a reprint in the. Egyptian God Structure decks. Not 100% sure, but uh, yeah, we don't need that. Not gonna be playing that. Another Nerval, I guess, is kind of cool if we don't have our playset already, but that's it. That's it. We got our Almirage, we got our Omega, so we can swap out the Draco Berserker. Double Phantasme probably goes in the side, or maybe even the main. No, definitely the side, I would say. All right, cool. So I love the fact that Phantasme wasn't even on my radar, yet it's an incredible pool, especially going into this new format. With things like Sky Striker and Salad coming back into representation, it really gives us a nice boost in those matchups. Although it does kind of conflict with the BD and Schooled, so it's definitely going to be a side card, I think. We'll figure it out in the new format. As for now, the Almirage is nice because it kind of limits our brick potential. Previously, opening Kit and Nerval pretty much shut off our Tri Brigade plays, but now we can Normal Summon and Link it off to get access to Keras. Omega gives us the random hand drip, which is slightly harder to play around than Draco Berserker, so it's a very marginal upgrade, and you know, sometimes Draco Berserker might actually be better than Omega, so uh, we'll probably swap between the two sometimes. But overall, we did get a couple of upgrades to the deck here. Swapping in the Almirage and the Omega, we can take out Draco Berserker and our second copy of Entis, because it doesn't really come up as much. Remember, today's locals are pre-ban lists, so we don't need to mess around with our deck too much, but uh, next Next episode, that's when things are gonna get spicy. So let's make Dryden go out with a bang and see how we do at the tournament. All right, so today's VIP YCS qualifier is a five round event and the tournament we're taking part in has Herman Hansen, Tristan Pugh, you know, there's a lot of good players here. It's gonna be tough. Let's see how we do. For round one, we got paired up with a bit of cheese because our opponent couldn't get other people's Discord cameras to work properly. I don't know if it was like a connection issue or there was like a firewall setting, but uh, we tried to fix it for about 15 minutes. Nothing worked, which is very unfortunate for them, but you know, we get a free win, so <laughs> I guess we take it. Okay. 1-0. Round 2 we got exactly what I was dreading and got paired up against Tristan Pugh of the Disciples. Losing the dice roll he gets to go first and of course is on the Dragon Link. He starts by normal summoning Recharger and linking into Striker Dragon which is a little bit of an awkward start for Dragon Link although he has a Wyver Burster in hand anyway. So this is going to allow him to combo but it's going to require a bit more resources than you would hope for. With no interruption in her hand he's able to go through the whole shebang, LP, Pisty, Red MD, Levian Ear, forming a board of spheres, savage, pisty and red and deer there as well, you know, just chilling. One back row and a Levianir that ripped a card out of our hand. Roughly what you would kind of expect from Dragon Link. So uh, going second here, we start with Nadir Servant. Obviously forcing out the Savage, it's 100% going to get negated because otherwise the Savage gets baited anyway with Entis. From there we go on to perform the strongest combo in our deck. Normal summon puppy. Special summoning Ecclesia, the search gets met with a set in perm, 
and it's into the battle phase we go. Puppy forces out the Spheres effect and our opponent chooses to bounce back the Levianir and summon Seyfert from deck, which of course does trigger the Puppy, getting Kalantosa to the field and popping Savage. I probably should have summoned the Kalantosa in attack so that I could attack over the Seyfert with Kalantosa and then punch over the Pisty with Ecclesia, but I put the Kalantosa on defense just by natural habit, I guess. So clearing Seyfert with Ecclesia, we move into main phase two and then proceed to go with the end phase, summoning out both Katy and and puppy. We're basically forcing a grind game at this point, but at the same time we kind of need to apply pressure and get to our Tri Brigade engine. Tristan starts his turn by activating Red MD to summon back Striker Dragon, which is going to trigger our Catsy, and we're going to search for a Hopier Squadron. If we're going for a grind game, there's really no point making Herald here because Tristan can just beat over it in the battle phase and then continue in main phase two, so on resolution we're going to activate Hopier target in Ecclesia to summon out Desert Locusts and go for that double hand rip. He chooses to discard a Seyfert from Hand, and then we synchro into Omega for the first time and activate its effect instantly on resolution, hitting a Rocket Synchron from hand. This leaves him with just a Levianir in hand, and we have to be very careful of a Boral Sword OTK. So Poppy sort of threatens the summon of Boral Sword with Kalantosa just straight up popping it. I think he's also thinking about a possible Nibiru as well. So uh, activating Striker Dragon, he pops the Pisty to target Recharger and get Absorator back onto the field. It's at this point where I kind of feel safe and then activate Poppy summoning Kit from the deck rather than Kalantosa because I feel like he's one material short of OTKing us, but uh, if he wasn't playing around Nibiru, I, there is actually a way that I would just straight up get OTK'd here. So he links Absorator and Striker Dragon into Spheres, therefore giving him a recovery play if he does get nibiru and we drop an Ash Blossom on the Absorator search. It's also worth noting that he doesn't have Chaos Ruler in the extra deck because he couldn't get his hands on it in time, but uh, yeah, he basically just attacks over the kit with Red MD and ends on a Spheres as the only interruption. Normal summoning Puppy once again forces out the Spheres and then from there we have access to our Tri Brigade engine and just have the full game under lockdown from there. Game 2 going second again, this time Tristan has a bit of a better hand and our only point of interruption is a Phantasme which really isn't interruption is it? Levianir does blow up the Phantasme and once again we're staring down a board of Spheres, Savage, LP and Pisty are still on board as a threat and uh, a back row again as well, which happens to be anti-spell. I got a couple spells in my hand, so uh, game three. Finally getting to go first, we don't actually open that good of a hand. Starting with Tanky, literally just as bait, uh, we search for Fractal, and we already have Nerval in hand, so activating Fractal isn't going to do anything. Activating Obedience Schooled is literally our only, like, really good play, otherwise our hand is just garbage, but thankfully it goes through summoning out Keras, Puppy, and Catty. I'm pretty sure the other three cards in our hand is Kit, Nerval, and Kalantosa, so yeah, we're literally forced to summon Keras here. Normal summoning Kalantosa gets us to Melfi of the Forest, plus Joyous Melfi's and a Catty in the end phase as well, so... As always, Resolve Obedience Schooled gets you three interruptions at least. Praying that this is enough, otherwise we're totally screwed. Turns out Tristan opened triple twin twisters and a boot sector launch, so just scoops really early. So, uh, yes! We're 2-0, thank god for that. Round 3, we're paired up against Crusadia OTK, which is usually a decent matchup for us going first. Game 1, starting with a tanky, we gain access to our Tri Brigade line, get into Keras. We then normal summon Rapier and dump a bunny to summon Dryden. Activate Keras in hand, discarding Kalantosa, which gets us to double D for two interruptions and a back row. Our Link Monster gets Gamma Sealed, but Dryden popping the normal summoned 4 mod Skipper is a past turn. Kaboom. Game 2, we're actually made to go second, facing down an Avramax with a set Crusadia power. I completely throw this game because I can't find a way to out the Avramax, of course not realizing that Parallel Exceed is a Cybers and Grave for Ice Dragon's Prison. So I'm just sat on a set Ice Dragon's Prison for multiple turns before eventually getting stomped. I easily could have outed it with Ice Dragon's Prison. That's completely on me. God, I'm an awful player. Although it turned out our opponent had Ghost Spell in hand the entire time, so it wouldn't have mattered. Good to know. Game 3, going first. We open double Kalantosa and our Ecclesia gets ashed. Warning buys us a turn, but it's not <coughs> enough. I try to pop the normal summon again, but it gets stopped by Crusadia Power and from there we just get one banged by Equimax. Sag. Going into round 4 with a 2-1 record, we get Nibiru on Chaos Thunder Dragon Light Swords, also known as Nice Mills, brother. Winning the die roll and getting to go first, we set up a board of Joyous and Double D with Katy in the end phase, but Nibiru just scoops. 
<laughs> nice hand, brother. Game two, Nibiru does us a dupe and makes us go first again, where we set up a Joyous with Fractile Normal Summoned as a level four to sync with and a back row. We get Dark Rulert, okay, and then Chaos Rulert. But we do strike the summon so that way it's not coming back, which does hurt Nibiru quite a bit. He follows up with Levianir to clear our board and dumps Gizmek off the Valkyrie for a little bit of pressure. Passing it back over to us there, I feel like we should relatively easily be able to just take this. Normal summon Nerval with four materials engraved should just steal the- One summon Nancia. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so mad now. Summon Zagoon. Yep. Game three. Uh, no, I'll mm. go first. Good luck, have fun. I don't think you I've had a good hand this entire tournament, so pray. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna activate Tanky in the middle. Search for Fractal. Fire off my Fractal effect. Do you have Kit? I don't know. Send Kit. Kit effect. <laughs> oh yeah, no, it's Kit and then Nerval and then yeah. Kit, sure. Then Nerval and then adding to hand a Keras. <laughs> you do main deck Nibiru, I th if I remember no. correctly. No. You chaos spaced it going first, that was weird. Okay, I do have to play around it though. Um, I didn't, no wait, I didn't chaos space it going first, I, was, I went second last game, dude. Oh, did... Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I know you play it, okay? That's what I meant. <laughs> I will normal summon Karas. Yeah. Karas effect, two for cost. <laughs> you also know how big my deck is. Yeah, it's a solid uh, three inches, I believe. Activate Ecclesia to special. Oh. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Get fucked, asshole. Effect a search. Fleur to the hand. Ooh, Fleur to the <laughs> Okay. I mean, fucking having a stroll with <laughs> fucking Google Maps. <laughs> yeah. um, I will set one. Mm -hmm. I will set two. And attempt to go to the end phase. If end phase is fine, I will activate Catty. Mm, yeah. You may. Go ahead, I'll put my last card over here. I think you've got this one, man. Activate the Spirit Gates. Okay, summoning beast. Uh, normal summon Beckoning Beast. I'll activate the Catty on the summon. Chain, double Dragon Lord, send in Tanky for cost, target in your. Beckon and Beast. Search for a Hopier oh. Squadron. So that bounce, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I literally have no place, so you may, uh, yeah, pass. Cliche to attack. Yep. Normal Summon Kai. <coughs> yep. Overlay these two for Joyous. Uh, activate Fleur Delise, Special Summon. Yeah. Battle Phase. Alright, uh, you were one summon off. <laughs> yeah, let's go. I knew it, I knew it. Game. Uh, hand was literally fucking almost something, man. Nib. For the fifth and final round, we find ourselves sitting at table one against Horther on Phantom Knights. Winning this could put us in first place and instantly get us the locals' top challenge completed alongside the VIP prizes, but we've never been able to beat Horther before. Uh, I know exactly one thing that your YouTube channel needs. What? Another one of these. Oh my god. Game 1, going first, Horther sets up an Evil Swarm Nightmare Dragoon and two back row for us to deal with. Uh, our tanky gets cycloned, Nadir gets negated, Fleur gets flipped, and Dryden gets flipped, but we do pop Bardisha in response. I could've went Dryden first and popped Nightmare to get Fleur on field successfully, but either way we just get wrecked by Dragoon next turn. Game 2. Right. Who starts? I will be going first, please. You sure? Absolutely. <laughs> Give me the juice. Uh, uh, I don't know if that's really, don't know if that really qualifies as juice to be honest. <laughs> I'm going to normal summon Whiptail. I will overlay for Dryden. Activate Karas, discarding Kit for cost. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Special summon Kit effect. Uh, I'll chain Ash. Ooh. Okay, I will attempt to go to the end phase and summon Poppy if that's okay. Uh, that is fine. Proceed. Uh, I will draw for turn. I would like to activate Imperm. Mm -hmm. Target? Tar uh, target Dryden. Target and Dryden. Normal summon Stained Greaves. I will activate Poppy on the normal summon. That is fine. Special Kalantosa and on resolution Kalantosa target Stained Greaves. Yes. I will fine. chain 
Lancia to the Stain Green, uh, to the Kalantosa. You motherfucker. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> I'll activate Jackal Open Hand. Oh, shit. Uh, that is a Silent Boots. Spec Jack, draw a card. This is fine. This is fine. Pass my turn. Pass turn. Okay. Yep. Uh, draw for turn. Yep. I will dry an effect targeting Jackalope. That's fine. Overlay for Vespinato. Keras effect, banish two for cost. I would like to chain Gamma. Chain Gamma? Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna Ash that. Uh, I'll chain Gamma to Ash. No! <laughs> Are you chaining the same Gamma to Ash? Uh, yeah, as long as it, because it's still enhanced, it can chain to a new effect. Okay, it, so... it will not negate the Keras, but it will negate the Ash. Yeah, okay, sure. Okay, so bit of a weird one, this, but yeah, you can't actually chain the same Gamma multiple times, even though by reading the card text, you would think that you can, because it doesn't say once per chain, it's not once per turn, it is a quick effect, obviously. I researched this after the game to get a better understanding of how it works, and it's like, because it's marked to summon itself, that you can't chain it again in the same chain. I don't know, it's really weird, but it's one of those things that you would just easily be convinced of. So that's the reason there wasn't a judge call when it happened, but I shouldn't have even played into it anyway, like Dryden on Jackalope being the first action just doesn't make any sense. I just wasn't considering Gamma, alright? It's fine. I'll attack over the Gamma with Vespa. Oh. I will take 1,500. End phase, activate Puppy. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And Driver gets banished. Cool. Go ahead. Alright. No cards in hand? Zero cards in hand. Red Eyes Fusion? <laughs> oh god, wait. Shit, do I just die here? I don't know, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Chain Joyous Malfi's here, target itself. That is fine. Special summon these two. On resolution, uh, I will activate the Puppy. Uh, Puppy is fine. Special summon Catty. Okay, I'll activate Dragoon. Uh, let's pop the... Vespacito. I will Ooh. activate Vespinato, target Lancia. Uh... Yeah, that's... Ooh, thinking. Ghost spell. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, I'll activate Dragoon Effect again. Uh, let's pop the... Dragon Lords. Take 11. Enter battle phase. Sure. Attack over Keras. Yep. Seeing as I'm not under Lancia, I'll activate Boots. Uh, yep. Searching Fog Blade. Sure. Then I will pass. Ooh, things are getting tense! Alright, draw. Yeah. I'm gonna link Kalantosa and Catty. I'm gonna summon Ferajit. I'll activate Ferajit effect. Yeah, that's fine. Special summon Fractal. Normal summon Puppy. Link all three into Boral Sword. I will go battle phase and I will crash into the Dragoon. Crash? No effect? Uh, no effect. Okay, that's fine. I will go main two. Yeah. And... Oh god, past turn. Alright. This is scary. I'll, uh, draw for turn. Yeah. Tour guide, let's go. I think I just drew my saving grace. <laughs> of course. No cards in hand, right? No cards in hand. Foolish burial. Ah, uh, yep, yeah, the 3-2 record gives us 9 points and puts us in 5th place. If we had won, we could have maybe got 1st. So, uh, yep, the top eludes us once again, but hey, onwards and upwards, right? Let's move on to the generation duel. Every five episodes, we have a commemorative duel against the Season 1 deck, just to sort of compare our progress between the two seasons. Currently, we are up 2-1 against the Season 1 deck. It's usually a pretty decent matchup for us, especially if we win the die roll. But uh, since episode 20, it's still basically just Crusadia Dragon Link, except there's a bit more hand traps in the main deck now. So we should potentially be expecting a little bit more interruption going first. So how do you feel about the Dryden ban? <laughs> uh, I mean... I was expecting like Nadir and Tanky to one. Same. Then I seen I Dryden gets banned. I was like, okay, at least I didn't waste all that time on Nadir. <laughs> Dryden going is a shame. A but, shame. Like, it doesn't really hurt my deck too much because I don't like it's not key to the deck. Yeet. Boom. 
I got a three. Beat that, boy. <laughs> I, I got three on one dice, six on the other. So get, <laughs> get the fucked. Are you gonna do the 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 big old set five and pass again? <sighs> no, I think I think my deck's a little bit better than that now. You say that, and then you're gonna draw five sets and then pass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, watch this. Oh, right. Are you ready? I am ready, gamer. Let me turn this off so I can get a good look at your screen. I will go standby main. Proceed to normal summon Rapier and activate effect. Yes. We're gonna summon Dryden. Not banned. Oh, yet. This, yeah, this is old, this is old list. <laughs> By the way, we I still have Red MD pre errata, I believe. Oh shit. Yeah, I think that's right, that's right. I will activate Ecclesia <laughs> to special summon. Yeah. I will activate Ecclesia to search. <coughs> search mom. Absolutely. There <laughs> she goes. There, there she is. Goes. Okay. Okay. I'll set one in the middle. I'll set okay. another, and I will pass turn. All right. So we're dealing with two set, a pop, and a flurry. For all I know, and I don't know what that other card is in hand. Draw for turn. Yee. You know, you shitter. <clears throat> so we're gonna go. Uh, normal Reclusia. Normal Reclusia. I will dry and pop the Reclusia. I hate you. Why are you <laughs> like this? Why are you uh, like this? Yo, Crusadia is insane. Why are you so mean to me? We'll go Ravine. Ooh, okay. Ravine, Ravine effect Pitch Magna rocket. Pitch Magna. Uh, um, yeah. Sending Absoratter. An Absoratter effect. <laughs> I'm gonna ash the Absoratter. Ah, uh, there's the okay. <laughs> Have to get smoked on. I don't think I'm gonna see success until we get to like the actual Crusadia bullshit. We'll go banish Absoratter. Ooh. Wyvern Burster. Just keeps on coming. Um. Yeah. Stop okay. Now. And I'll link off for Striker Dragon. I will strike the summon. <gasps> we'll strike the summon. God. Me, why are you like this? I will change uh, Wyvern Burster effect though. To yeah, get yeah, he can get the Collapse Serpent. You're so mean. I just be like that sometimes. I still haven't pulled off my actual combo in the deck yet, and it's been like two or three weeks now. Which is to hop your squadron. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the Savage play. Yeah. Have you done the Savage play yet? It's the real question. I don't actually think I have. Well, we're gonna go to game two. <laughs> <laughs> Open a hand of all Crusadias. Oh my god, that Dryden must have hurt, and it's... baby. Alright, I'm gonna go first, by the way. I hope, uh, if you didn't realize. Sure thing, I kind of expected sure, that. Sure thing, gamer. But this hand... Oh, oh this gosh. hand. This is something. Oh, this hand makes me want to cry. <laughs> this hand makes me want to cry. Man, season 1 normal. Rev's deck building. <laughs> what was Where he doing? Go... We're gonna go recharger. Normal summon recharger, sure. We'll link off into striker dragon. Striker dragon effect. That is fine. That boot. Banish the striker to summon red MD. Ooh, okay. We're gonna go red MD, revive the recharger. Yeah, sure. Two. Two a spheres. Spheres, yeah, okay. I think we just I think we just hold that. And we're gonna set two. And we're gonna set pass that. Two. Oh shit, I forgot my deck had back row. Oh god. <laughs> Inside! <laughs> okay, uh, I'll draw for turn. Yep. Stand by main. Yep. Don't want to do this, but I'm going to normal summon catty. I'm gonna bounce the cat. I'm sorry, buddy. Okay, sure. And then see your second effect. I will ash. You will ash? Alright, yeah, sure. Ooh, Sad. okay, okay. That's Sad interesting. Chat. Uh, oh man, I really didn't want to use my normal summon there, that kind of sucks. I will... How many cards you got in hand? Three. Two. Two in hand. Two back row. I'm gonna... I'll go triple tactics, and I will... Uh, I'll draw two. I'll draw two? Okay. Drawing two is fine. Uno, dos. Sure, why not? <laughs> I'll go obedient schooled. Go obedient schooled, sure. Give me those three little beasties. So we summon Kit, Lo, Kalantosa, and we'll summon Puppy. Okay, so on the okay, so on the resolution. Oh God. Okay. Of the summon, I'm gonna activate Crackdown. Oh. I'm gonna target Kit. You're taking Kit with Crackdown. Okay, sure. Yes. 
I'm gonna use this Hopier Squadron as my kit. Actually, wait, <laughs> I have a kit. I think I have a kit somewhere. Overlay for Joyous. Attempt to go battle phase. Sure. I will attack the kit. Okay. I will activate kit effect. Yep. Da 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 da. It was not fine. <laughs> <laughs> Dump Nerva. Nerva effect. Yep. Ah, uh, the play would have been to take the joy. The play should have been to take the joyous. Oh well. Although I don't think you can summon Keras. No, you uh, can't. Keras is a beast, so I can. But I will go end phase and special summon Katty. Yes. All right, go ahead. All right. <sighs> Draw for turn. Yeah. Why are you here? Actually, activate dragon. Activate dragon ravine. Activate ravine. Um, on the activation, I'll activate joyous. Target itself. Sure. Boop. Special puppy Kalantosa. Kalantosa pop ravine. Why are you like this? Stop <laughs> it! <laughs> They're just little fluff balls. Leave them alone. Normal tracer. Normal tracer. Ooh. Um, I am going to go chain one puppy, chain two catty. The response to a normal summon? Yes, normal summon, special summon, or if you attack them. Chain link three, I will go hop here, target Kalantoso. Jeez! <laughs> I have a hop here in expand, I don't even know what that does when you read. Special summons itself and then synchros with the target. Yeah, yeah here, comes, here comes a herald. And this deck's just too good! And then uh, chain two was Kai -E at a beast. I could add the Gato das Corso. Because it is an Italian rescue cat, but I'm gonna add Alpha. And then Puppy. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. Special Kalantosa, Kalantosa effect. I will target your tracer. Yeah, sure, that'll be fine. Ooh. Alright, final card activate boot sector launch. <laughs> Ooh. A second effect of boot sector wait, launch. Wait, 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 wait. How many hey. rockets you got in grave? I got two, boy! Two rockets and grave. Chain crow target tracer. Why are you like this? Because my deck's just too good. Yeah, I know. And the the deck is this deck is weak compared to this deck. A nice recharger. <laughs> I can't do anything. <laughs> go, go ahead then. I will draw for turn. Yep. <laughs> yep, absolutely. Uh, what's that back row? How have you not used don't, it? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Stand by main. Yep. Normal summon rat, activate effect. Melfi's go brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
to the series, literally unexpectedly. So that's something I've been taking into consideration and sort of planning around. While I don't think we have a great chance at getting top cut, our deck is like nearly complete. So, uh, you know, there's a chance there. There's like 1800 players registered or something. It's gonna be, <laughs> it's gonna be absolute chaos, but, uh, yeah, this was, of course, the last episode with Dryden, so next episode will be where she gets cut and we'll need to figure out what to do about it. Not a huge deal, but she will be missed. Of course, we can't go a full series without getting some kind of hit to her deck, it seems. We'll leave the theory crafting until the next episode, otherwise we'll fry our brains here. So, uh, yeah, wish me luck in the YCS. If anyone else has taken part in the YCS, then best of luck to you. I think it's definitely worth it considering the amount of stuff you get just for the registration fee. Uh, so yeah, let me know how you did in the comments below because I think this will go live like just after the end of day one. Thank you so much for watching as always if you have made it this far. If you are looking forward to see how we're doing the YCS, be sure to subscribe to the channel and you know, leave a like on your way out as well. Goodbye. Do